And you get to do the night at night. Yep. Excited, I, I know. I am. Number nine. We all know what AirPods are by now. Sure, they're wireless and convenient, but they don't exactly look cool. If you really want to look cool for about a third of the price, you can get the music vest. First, there was the transistor radio, then the headphones. Now, there's Music Vest, the only fashion and personal sound systems currently sweeping the country. Music Vest is designed to provide you with high-quality stereo music wherever you go, whatever the weather. With Music Vest's waterproof speaker system, you can enjoy your favorite music, whether you're exercising, <laughs> riding, or... Break dancing, Larry. Be the leader in your crowd. Order your Music Vest today. Be the leader in your crowd. Oh, my God. Barrington. It's exactly where you'd expect it to be produced. <laughs> we got to look into that. <laughs> look, it, it's a it's a vest with speakers that come right out of your pecs, Larry. <laughs> wow. wow. You when you're break dancing. Dance. Yeah. Video, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just going to add some lights on. Oh, boom, boom, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Woo, that's good. <laughs> uh, number eight, it's Wednesday. It's, uh, it's been a long Aww. week already, so here's something to make you smile. Dogs on pool <laughs> Love really it. no other reason yes. for it other than dogs are cute and would, pool floats are fun. Would your dog stay on one of those, Pat? Uh, Mine, look at that one. That's a good Ooh. question. Mine would not. No, I think she'd, she'd go a little loony once you put her on one of those. My husband made a little, uh, like a, a flotation device that flips over the pool and goes into the water for the dog to easily climb out. No. Yeah. Well, married to MacGyver is. over there. He's this guy. Got the stuff he yeah. builds. Yeah. Do you make anything for the kids? No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's just for, they kids. can borrow it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number seven, when Zoom and Skype aren't enough, there's this hollow portation. It's a new 3D capture technology that allows high quality 3D models of people to be reconstructed, compressed, mm -hmm. and transmitted anywhere in the world. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. That's and that weird. Reminds us of this. What about? People. People? Hmm. I don't really know. I suppose I could? Yes, I'm sure I could. I'm pretty sure I could. But it might have some messy results. Look at me! I'm going to be the first person in the world to be sent by television! Hey! Get away from that thing! Stop! Don't! Come back! <laughs> <laughs> Oh I haven't seen it in like 30 years. Is that what this is yeah. called? Yeah, Mike TV. Uh, Why is he taking so long? Million pieces take a long time to put you together. You know, before Morgan's never even seen it. <laughs> I just <laughs> forgot it was so long it's ago. It's really kind of dark. Well, I there's kept my mouth shut, Pat. There's a lot of kids that, that don't make it through. Yeah. It's really kind of dark. But it was Well, it's, it's refreshing. teaching kids a lesson. I don't know what that lesson is, but yeah. I'm sure there's one in there. Huh. Is that the end of the movie? No, it's know. mixed into the middle. Huh. It's one of the many climaxes. Uh, I'll have <laughs> yeah. to go back and revisit that. <laughs> All right, number six. We're not sure what hollow portation is going to look like, but we... Oh, yeah, we just read we, that that's one. in there twice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. There we go. Well, anyway. now we just skipped... Now we're going to go to you. That was not a professional thing that we'll, I just we'll did, reading out. the same thing twice. But and now, now it's your turn. I apologize. Do you want to take well, this? Show no, really go one? right ahead. This show is really slipping. <laughs> I expect more from this crew. Uh, all right, number five. This is from Ray and Sue Travel Photography. You should check them out on Instagram. It's a bird doing a mating dance. <laughs> oh, it's <Yeah>. working. <laughs> it's like, come on, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. <laughs> wow. Wow, this really happens, huh? Those are Where's birds of birds? paradise. That didn't really look like it worked. No. Oh. Yeah, you came out a little too strong. A little too it's strong. like when you're in the club and you go up to a woman and you start yeah. dancing a little too aggressively. You, gotta you want back. to get cool, you just want to give a little show. Yeah. You don't want to start fist pumping the second <laughs> you get over to her. Believe me, I know from experience. <laughs> Number four, we're happy to hear Queen Elizabeth is over her COVID scare. And with things opening up, she might start receiving more visitors. And she's developed some secret social cues with her staff for when she's meeting random people to signal that she's bored. When Her Majesty is ready to wrap up a conversation, she switches her handbags from one arm to another. Ah. At that point, a handler will come in and kindly move the person on 
uh, to speak to, say, the Duke of Somerset or something or someone else. And if she's really ready to be done with someone, the queen will spin her ring. That means get this guy out of here. And there's also this. Every day at lunch, the queen has a gin and dunbane. Is that right? Dubonnet? Sure. With a lemon Dubonnet. Dubonnet. Of course, we had the... Uh, yeah. yeah. We had the em emphasis on the yes. wrong syllable. <laughs> it's like, don't put it in there if yeah. it's right. If you don't it's know, not helpful. Yeah. you're hurting me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Number three, Charlotte in Charlotte's Web was based on a real spider. Author E.B. White noticed a spider in the barn making an egg sack. He cut down the sack. Put it in a box in what? his bedroom dresser. Soon enough, the egg sack hatched uh, and baby spiders emerged from the box. What? They uh, strung tiny webs all over the place. From his mirror to his hairbrush, White lived with the spiders for a couple of weeks until his cleaning lady yelled at him. He got rid of all the spiders except for three. Hmm. Who wants a drawer full of spiders? Mom? Yeesh. All right, number two. Here's a look at sunlight hitting the Pacific Ocean as recorded from space. It's a time lapse created using photographs taken from the International Space Station. Ah. Nice. You're not impressed no. by the Earth's majesty from yeah. outer space. That doesn't you don't do look it at that you. and think that. Like, no, what? I don't. We live in there. Yeah, whatever. Space has never really done much for me, and I know I should have a finer appreciation, yeah. but... No, uh, just add it to the list. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You're right. I got a long list of things that don't really impress me. Impre I don't know. All right, I number one. Telescope. I <laughs> International Space Station. <laughs> well, I mean... Okay, number one, for no reason whatsoever, does anyone remember the old commercials for gravy trained dogs? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Where they would show you the gravy as if it's really this delicious. Right. Yeah, gross. Okay, so the fine people at Gravy Train partly made that up for commercials with this one. Hi, honey. What's for dinner? I'm starved. Gravy train. Gravy train? After all these years, you know I like my food dry. Relax, George. My sister told me you can serve meaty tasting gravy train dry the way you like it or mixed with water to make gravy the way I like it. It's meaty tasting and completely nutritious either way. Mm, it is delicious, crunchy dry. It's delicious with its gravy, too. Gaines gravy train dog food. Tastes good with gravy, tastes good without. <laughs> wow. Was that a real commercial? I guess so. I don't remember it. They were not really talking dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's where you were going. Wait. Dogs talk. Those are great dog costumes. All yeah. right, that's a nine and nine. Nine and nine.